Easy Broccoli, Pea and Edamame Soup You'll need about 100 grams of peas and edamame beans, a red onion, a head of broccoli and a chicken stock cube, which of course could be a vegetable stock cube for vegetarians. Firstly, you need to chop your red onion. This can be done quite roughly because it is being made into a soup. It also looks like Margaret doesn't have a particularly sharp knife. Might be an idea to get another one, Margaret. However, I do like the way you've coordinated your jumper with a red onion. Very tasteful. So once your onion is chopped up, you need to chop up the head of broccoli. Again, this doesn't need to be done too tidily. Just make sure you get all the flowers of broccoli off the stalk. That's right, Margaret, keep going. Get it all off. And again. Well, you could finish the last bit, of course, as well. Then you're going to fry over the onions in a saucepan. Trying not to uh, drop your very nice bracelet into the pan. You may notice a few small bits of broccoli in there. I don't think that's on purpose and for the recipe's sake. I think they've just gone in by accident. So once the onions are frying, you can make your stock. So add the appropriate amount of boiling water. It's three quarters of a pint here, I think. Lovely. Then add in your chicken stock cube. And to make it a little bit more interesting, you could also add a teaspoon of cumin powder and some ground black pepper. Add the stock to the pot. Next, you're going to add the broccoli back into the pan. Don't feel you have to leave a bit outside the pan on the hob. I think that might have been a small mistake. Bring it to the boil and add a bit more water if you need to cover all the ingredients. And then simmer it until the broccoli is soft and breaking up. Then it's time to add the peas and the edamame beans. Then simmer again for five to ten minutes. Now here comes the clever bit. Remove a few ladles of soup. Two or three will do. And then you're going to blend that part of the soup. Well, it does help if you actually turn it on at the plug. That's better. Blend that part of the soup until it's creamy and smooth. Excellent. And when that's done, you can add it back into the pot. This gives a beautiful creamy consistency while also having some lovely chunky bits of the vegetables to eat. Oh, nice bit of filming there, Margaret. But look how lovely it looks. Thick and creamy, but with chunks. Lovely heartwarming soup. And if you're fancy, you can add a little bit of creme fraiche just to add to the taste.